Good morning guys from Overland Expo East 2018 here at the Rebranch uh, outside of Hendersonville, North Carolina. Got it all. Uh, it's a beautiful day here. Uh, this is Saturday. First day was Friday, which was a rainy mess. Uh, but we're here camping with our uh, expedition truck. So I can already tell you, the probably the more entertaining video is going to be watching everybody get out of here on Sunday because it is a soupy, muddy mess. So the first stop is the barn, which is where the Wi-Fi is located because uh, there's only a handful of uh, providers that have service in the area. But it's also kind of like a beer garden, uh, so you can get drinks over there and then tables to uh, sit and eat at with uh, food trucks just out the door. You know, it's a bit breezy out here. I don't know if today's going to be a good day to go uh, talking to the vendors with you guys, but uh, there is a, a roundtable discussion about traveling to Alaska and Canada <laughs> or we can watch Rebecca fall in the mud Let's not. so this is the uh, round table discussion area and it's a uh, surprisingly nice little break from the wind but they're hosting a bunch of different classes and uh, just discussions here and everyone ends at uh, 50 minutes after the hour and then the turn of the hour a new one comes in it's one of those places you really have to do both seasons to get like the full experience and just go back again and again and again yeah <laughs> people uh, definitely had a common theme that everybody's so friendly in alaska and i have to say it's true it is that the locals would take them in and give them suggestions and ideas and <laughs> be friendly to them and that's kind of the uh that's kind of the vibe of the state that is a seriously awesome Baja bug. I love it. Wonder if it's still got the old air cooled. Nice. Still has an air cooled VW engine. Gotta love it. I know it's nice when they uh, put water pumpers in these things because it eliminates a lot of problems, but I seriously love Volkswagen engines. Now, no eyeball on the GXVs. You already know I am. <laughs> we need a small rig right now. So part of the reason why we have such a small camper is we have intentions of driving around the world, but we are looking forward to when we get back to getting something, you know, with maybe a 20 foot box or 22 foot box instead of a 13 foot box. <laughs> but this would be great. Check out this hammock. Yeah, outdoor cooking. Those storage boxes are calling my name. Oh man, <laughs> what we could do with those storage boxes, honey. That would like double our trunk space. No joke. <laughs> okay, my first choice would be an old Bronco, but that is a beautiful Scout. Well, this skills area is pretty awesome. Uh, gives you the opportunity to sign up for lessons with professional instructors and also get out and use your uh, 4x4 in some real life applications. What would you think? Would that be fun? Yeah, it'd be fun. And actually, I kind of learned something like watching these folks because somebody got stuck up there. And when you and I go out four wheeling, it's with an anchor and some toe straps. And these guys have like these professional grade recovery kits, and this is entertaining. Yeah, you know, the Alaskans have their own way of doing things. Yeah. Like, well, I just didn't know those things yeah. existed. I mean, oh, they had all kinds of things in their kit that I never knew existed. So there's it was so much recovery technology out there. Yeah. So I know there's a lot of you guys that watch our channel, but. It's just still so amazing that people are coming up to us and randomly saying hi. It's, it's <laughs> and love feel, your yeah. Thank you so much, guys. It's it awesome really does mean a meeting lot to you us and to get to meet you guys in person. As you can see behind me, they have uh, been plowing the mud. So hopefully, tomorrow's departure isn't as messy. It's gonna be a cold one tonight. I just uh, checked the Wi-Fi up there, and it's going to be down to 23 degrees. 
So check this out guys, I found another amazing use for our gray water to clean off the extra tufts. And it works wonderfully. There you go. Hi, I'm Susan. I'm Normandy. Yep. And you guys just bought. We yeah. bought a Fuso truck. Yeah. Yes. 2007 <laughs> Fuso truck. Like, yeah. That like is awesome. Mango, yeah. Thank you so much well, for nice stopping nice by. Thank you so much. And Thank you, you know, nice if you have any you questions guys. about the Fuso, at least yep. what we know about it, mm -hmm. we're more than happy to help. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Thanks okay. So nice much. to meet you guys. Thank you, nice to meet you. Well, the food trucks were tempting, but we opted to eat in. Spiralized potatoes, carrots, and steak all prepared on the barbecue. All right, it's gonna be a chilly night, but we'll see you in the morning. Ooh, it's a frosty one out here today, guys. Morning, G. Morning, how are you? Doing well, how are you? We well, can definitely tell there's a warm spot by the uh, S-Bar heater. Sure glad I serviced that thing a couple weeks ago. All right guys, well it's time to uh, share some of the vendors with you and I kind of thought the best way of us doing it would be to just share vendors that would uh, have products or services applicable to us or our vehicle. Because there are a lot of vendors, you know, you have the motorcycle guys and there's specific vendors there. You have the uh, Overland, uh, Land Rover, Toyota. Yeah, it's so vast that we're only gonna be able to cover a small segment so we might as well make it stuff that interests us. So first stop is RB Components out of LA. Uh, this is something that we were interested in because we're gonna rehab the kitchen and they do all sorts of uh, cabinetry solutions and storage solutions. It looks amazing and it saves you a lot of weight because it's made out of aluminum. It's a pretty sharp interior in the Sprinter van, isn't it? It is, and they can do these cabinets in three different colors this gray metal they can also do it in silver or white yeah all different uh solutions yeah. the countertops cool place to uh, store your coats Ooh, that is awesome yeah i think we could like piece something together in just all the different measurements and uh make our interior lighter and more modern yeah it would be fantastic it's still a mud pit out here guys it's all part of the fun the next stop is a uh, blue ridge overland gear and i have seen your guys's products online for storage solutions and you guys just have a ton of bags we do we it's do. awesome yeah we try to uh basically build stuff to utilize dead space in a vehicle yeah so anything oh, i from, love how uh, you have the labels too right yeah the uh, id tags so the next stop is 7p overland um and the footage we captured yesterday at the skills area that's their team helping everybody learn to drive and they specialize in driver's training and adventures and tours here in the States and overseas. Tell me if this would be of interest to you guys. Maybe meeting in Moab and having a, a group driver's training session. I that, think that would be so much fun. That'd be a blast. <laughs> you know, I always give Beck jokes about uh, how many bags she has, but I'm gonna show you another company we that makes bags. That ben wants. Next stop is Adventure Tool Company. And I'm very interested in these tool bags. I just need some organization instead of it all just being piled into one canvas sack. And those look awesome. Well, the next stop is here at Curahi Overland and Angry Iron Bumper. I'd love to show you the bumpers because we are in need of a bumper, but because of all the uh, rain and mud, the bumpers are in a, the back of a truck. Uh, but we uh, have John here, and you guys have a uh, shop here in North Georgia. And what kind of work do you guys do? Well, we do everything from basic lift kit, wheels and tires, to complete custom overland build. Nice. Um, we do everything from Jeeps and pickups, little vans. And you help people source vehicles if they are uh, Correct. in the market for something. We are vehicle dealers, licensed, so we awesome. can source vehicles in addition to parts and installation. Great. We're checking out the um, tents at High Viz Overland, and um, they've got hard top, which is something we're really interested in. But on the inside, they've designed it so it's really functional. Like yeah. there's places to hang your clothes and a net on the roof and, and like uh, bags to hang stuff in. Yeah, the uh, hard shell would just be great for durability and 
branches and yeah and yep. for for it to last and also I think you would have to worry less about the weather if you're sleeping up there then yeah so the next stop has to do with safety and communications when you're off grid and you still want to have a little bit of being on grid so we've all heard of the spots where you push the button and you can uh, signal for help well it's gone one step further this is called the spot X it's our two-way satellite communication device. You get a US-based phone number with this device and it allows you to text with the full QWERTY keyboard back and forth with your friends and your family. But even further than that, when you push SOS, now you can text back and forth with search and rescue and that's pretty priceless. Oh, that is great. Mm-hmm. You can track, you can check in with your friends and family at the push of a button, you have basic navigation. In addition to that, you can also put in 14 predefined messages. So if you don't want to have to type something out, you can just push a button, it'll send. It works across the globe. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Yeah, absolutely. I do want to tell you, this is the first device that we have that has monthly plans. Oh, so really? Flex plans. You can turn it on and off whenever you want to use it. Well, back home in Alaska, we call them moose lights, but Light Force is a very popular brand. So obviously we're looking for lighting solutions for the front of the truck while we're driving, but we're also looking at options for security on the camper, and this company provides both. Uh, the ones that go on the front are pretty cool because you just plug them into the manufacturing harness and they can be controlled with three different settings off of the switches in your vehicle. The technology is available for them to be controlled by an app on your phone. That so you can is hit pretty a button awesome. And they turn on. Well, now it's time to talk tires because I think we probably have about another 10,000 miles before we should be. Uh, getting new tires on our current camper and there's a lot of choices out there. So I've had uh, Yokohama tires in the past and our F-150 back at home has some uh, good old Geolanders but I love these mud train tires. I know most mud train tires don't get used off-road enough but look at that aggressive tread pattern and we were here uh, earlier in the show and they said uh, these tires have been designed for uh, less road noise and uh, longer tire life and then over here are some new uh, all-terrain geolanders that are going to be released a little bit later this year and those would probably be a more realistic ex expectation to uh, put on the truck all right so you guys know that i'm going to end up with a pair of these because i love sunglasses but ben also is in dire need of a new set of prescription frames for his sunglasses he's got like an eight-year-old pair because he's never found one that he loves more until now he does but these zeal optics are amazing they're plant-based not made with any petroleum they can put your prescription in them and they are very styling. Well, I'm not sure what's going on at this booth, but it looks like fun. <laughs> so next up is a Rostra, and uh, we are interested in uh, some electronic accessories for the cab of the truck. Uh, one of the things that's also been driving us crazy is the lack of cruise control. <laughs> and Bill here from uh, Rostra, yep. and I can see in the shadow, so we're good. Uh, they make cruise control seat heaters, backup cameras, and Bluetooth solutions for uh, all kinds of different applications. Absolutely. All right, so this is definitely a booth I keep thinking about because they have some really cool technology. They've got, it's called GoTread, and so you can use their product as either a device to level out your truck or you fold it out, put it underneath the tire. And it's recovery and gear. And it's recovery gear, but it doesn't take up all the space of those giant recovery tracks. And I love that. And we do not have much space in our camper. No. <laughs> Okay, we just found something really cool. So uh, it's dehydrated yep. food, ah, gourmet food. food, but it's healthy. The ingredients are things you can actually print so now. And, and uh, okay. so. this guy and his wife started the business themselves. She's a chef, and uh, they wanted, they love to camp. They started dehydrating their own food and then yeah. took to making it for other people. Yeah. Well, now it's time to talk generators. We've had our fair share of experiences with generators over the years, uh, but we've never owned the best when it comes to uh, small generators. And right now they have a, a 2200 uh, little gas-powered generator 
that can power small air conditioners and that's one of the uh, obstacles we need to overcome in our camper is air conditioning and their choices are uh, getting a little gas powered uh, generator or getting a uh, diesel onboard generator. I've always been a big fan of these uh, small generators. This is the 1000. I know this is just a uh, size reference, but these things are so small and efficient and quiet. and quiet. And what would be more up our alley, depending on which route we go, would be this new 2200i. Cummins is here and they are uh, promoting their crate engines, which can go in <laughs> probably countless different vehicle applications but Cummins Onan makes a, a 4kW diesel generator that we've been eyeing as a uh, potential accessory for the expedition truck and for lunch today schnitzel from a food truck it's part of the fun of coming to one of these events it's a pretty cool seating area up here yeah it is beautiful okay it's two o'clock everything's winding down and I know quite a few of the vendors are uh, concerned about this mud and getting out of here and what kind of show it's going to be. Truthfully, I'm tempted to uh, stick around for this show. Okay, things are definitely clearing out here in the uh, west side camping area. There's the line for the people catching the bus. They've done an excellent job of uh, clearing that top layer of mud away so uh, people don't just get stuck all over the place. Well, that's a wrap for our experiences at Overland Expo East 2018, and we had a lot of fun. We did. We'd really like to thank Overland Expo for giving us the opportunity to come out here and document the event and yeah. share in the festivities. We had a great time, learned a lot, and I think now it's time to get back on the road. Yeah, well, it's time to get on the road, but I don't foresee us having any issues. No. So, all right, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you around.